Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bat Knitter. Hi, how are you? So a couple of weeks back, I did a video on a pattern I made. Um, like I mentioned, uh, my friend works for JetBlue, so she wanted a scarf that was specifically, uniquely, JetBlue. So the colors that JetBlue has is mainly blue and orange, so that was fun getting the colors, um, which I have right here. I will put uh, the... the links in the description below for what I used is Cascade 220 um, which is um, very awesome do, 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 do. Heather's is you know kind of one of their very variations on their yarn um, which I like a lot and it's a hundred percent wool which is gives it a very soft touch and feel especially since it's Gonna be touching the neck and face, but come a long way. I've actually finished one scarf, and I'm actually on to the next one because she wanted one for her and one for a friend. Now, along the way, when I was knitting, I did make some uh, some updates to the pattern. Not updates, but I fixed the pattern a little bit with parts that I wasn't happy with, you know. So it did get fixed and altered and changed a little bit. But this is kind of my Version two, JetBlue. Um, not the the first one came out bad. Um, it came out really well, but I did stuff like there was a little bit more spacing between letters, so I closed that up in this one, and so that way we got the letters closer together. And it was a lot of just kind of tweaks in terms of the lettering and how it looked and how it felt. So again, it is double sided because I'm crazy like that, that, but the side is upside down because, you know, that's how it works. Um, but I'm still happy with the double-sided. I like the double-sided just because it gives it a little bit more weight, a little bit more feel uh, to it, and that way it's also, especially since we're up in Massachusetts, it can be very cold. We get a lot of snow up here, so the extra heft is kind of worth it, but um, again, I will link down to my other video about me making the pattern and how I did it. Um, I will also put a link in the description below about what program I used, which I liked a lot, um, and you can see in the video. Um, if you have questions about that, let me know in the comments, and I will be able to answer them for you, but I highly recommend it if you do a lot of pattern making. It is a teeny bit expensive. Well, it is quite expensive, but it's really solid program and I love it, love it, love it. It is great and really well done and designed specifically for knitting. Um, I think that's why I love it so much and it's actually worth the money. So, check it out in the description below and I will see you next week. Let me know what you think about the scarf.